All right, guys, welcome to your 35th video. And in this video, we're going to be working on the login page, which is obviously the page that the user goes to whenever they have their account created. They first open their browser, get home from school. This is where to go to log in and start using the website. So if you notice at first glance, the login page looks a lot like this register page in terms of styling. There's pretty much an image on the left and a form on the right. The only little things that are different is the image is different in the form. It's the same style, but it has some different fields, just the username and password. So the cool thing about this is we actually don't need to do any new styling, but what we do want to do is copy the style from the register style page, style sheet, whatever you want to call it. So this is what I want you to do. Go ahead and open up register.css and instead of using register.css this styling on login.php what I want to do is save this file as login.css now I know a lot of the time I say don't copy extra code when you don't need to but the reason that I want the login CSS page to be different than the register.css file is because later on I have a strong feeling that we're going to be changing up the CSS for login and register. So I don't want to go, I don't just want to have a single file. I want to have two different files that we can alter, even though you can technically just use register.css in here. So as you guys can obviously see, I saved you guys a little bit of time because we already coded all this stuff. You guys already know what everything is. Instead of me doing repetitive stuff over and over and over on every page, I just went ahead and I coded this page real quick two different things that you need to know are instead of register.css I link to that new login.css that we just created and it has a different image on the left hand side the other one was like register banner.ping this one is login banner.ping and this image is this login image right here so again I know that I coded all this already without you guys, without me filming it, but uh, it's the exact same form that we already created. The only thing is it says login for a header and these fields, the username and the password, they are the exact same fields as the register.php page. So like I said, I'm not going to waste your guys' time and my time by you know recording stuff that you guys are going to be like, oh my god, we did this like 10 times already. So let's go ahead and hop into the good stuff. Now the reason I have this register.php page open is because we're going to steal a lot of the stuff from over here instead of having to code it all again. So the first thing I want to do is of course, and again, I probably should have mentioned <laughs> this like at the very beginning, but I'm working on the new login.php script, so yeah, I probably should have mentioned that. So go ahead and put your PHP tags. And now what we need to do is code the actual PHP code that allows the user to log into the website. Essentially, whenever a user wants to log into your website, our goal is to set a session variable for that user. Now, if you're not familiar with session variables, then I'm going to suggest you watch my uh, PHP tutorials or the ones PHP Academy made for me. But what it is, is it's pretty much a variable that stays with you as long as you have the browser open. For example, all of these variables right here, username and uh, email right here, as soon as the user goes to a different page or goes to a different website, those variables are going to get destroyed. But a session variable, they can go to different sites on your same web page, and that session variable stays with that one user. It has its own unique set of variables. So that's what I'm talking about. Real quick example. If you still don't know what I'm talking about, then um, again, watch my PHP tutorials. But the very first things that we need to do is we need to go ahead and start the session and we need to include these two files. So go ahead, hop over to register.php. No sense retyping all that when we can just cheat a little bit. There you go. Now the next thing we want to do is check this out. I'm going to explain to you guys something. The only reason the user would go to this login web page is if they aren't already logged in. So the first thing we need to do is test if they are logged in. If they already are logged in, then they can't log in again. We can't allow it. So let's go ahead and test if the user is logged in. Now you know how I said that whenever a user logs into your website, then we assign a special variable 
to them called a session variable. Well, all we need to do to test if they're logged in is test if that session variable is set. So I'll use our very handy is set function and the variable is, I don't think I have it over here. Nope, is dollar undersign session and the name of it is user underscore ID. So by default, as soon as the user comes to this page, they aren't going to be logged in. And that's our goal to set this variable or give them a user ID. However, if for some reason, you know, they went to the login page and they already are logged in, maybe they were goofing around on the website or something, then all we want to do is redirect them to the page that they should be at, which is pretty much their account page. And their account page in order to redirect is location account and we didn't make this page yet we're gonna make it probably in about 10 tutorials items active PHP now just a little preview of what's to come this is pretty much their main account page it's what they should go to whenever they first log in it pretty much takes them to all their active items so they can see all their trades pretty much like I said their account page so that's what we're gonna do first we're gonna test if they are already logged in and if they are take them to their account page bam how simple is that so what we need to do after this is pretty much handle the form so this is how the login page is supposed to work a user opens this page when they aren't logged in yet and they want to log into their account and they fill in the username which is Bucky and they fill in their password which is password and they hit submit which basically submits the form and if all their information is correct it takes them to their account so form handling is what we're going to be doing in the next video but for this video that's all I got for you guys so the cool thing is that if you guys are saying oh crap more of this crap well the awesome thing is we can copy about 80 percent of this stuff the only thing we have to change is this messy stuff down here but I'm gonna be worrying about that in the next tutorial so thank you guys for watching I'll see you then